Flu season begins in April in Australia and gives Canadians a glimpse into the future, so doctors watch that data closely. The numbers seem to be a bit below or at the same level as prior years pre-pandemic. Um, there was a kind of early sharp rise and then a decline that, that happened a bit earlier than expected. But as our flu season approaches, doctors say getting that flu shot is a tough sell. I'm worried because people are tired of vaccination. They're tired of COVID shots and by extension, they're tired of all shots. Dr. Brian Conway says vaccines are key to keeping people out of the hospital. If we let our guard down and we have too low an uptake of vaccination for COVID and flu, that that'll lead to increased transmission and will potentially uh, stress the healthcare system more significantly than it can bear. 43% of Canadians got a flu shot last year. 74% of seniors were vaccinated, but that falls short of the 80% coverage goal. 21% of those who didn't get a shot said they just didn't get around to it. Making time is critical, especially for children under two and those who are immunocompromised, says pediatric specialist, Dr. Jesse Pappenberg. Roughly 15 to 20% of children who get admitted actually require ICU care. So they are critically ill and require some sort of ventilatory support or other assistance in terms of maintaining their uh, vitals. And doctors say while you're rolling up one sleeve, you might roll up the other and get an updated COVID-19 shot at the same time. It's important that we take the opportunities when one vaccine is being administered to make sure people are up to date. Let's just uh, one and done. Go get your vaccine and uh, maybe be part of the solution. Catherine Ward, Global News, Toronto.